What's going on? It's Good Fella Sports TV. We up in this thing doing what we does, talking some NBA basketball. This type of topic. Now, um, I heard about this story, did some research, and um, you know, this is very, very uh, innovative, very, very special, and um, they continue to sock it to the to the NCAA system. It's like everybody's ganging up on college basketball right now. And they're giving these uh, young brothers um, a way out, all right? Um, and we talk about Darius uh, Baisley out of Ohio, top five, um, five-star recruit, uh, McDonald's All-American, um, uh, amazing, amazing 6'9", 6'10", uh, uh, guy, uh, ball player with guard-like skill, skills, and he he just got an amazing, innovative deal. Um, and let me tell you about the story. The story is, obviously, he's a five-star recruit from Ohio. Um, I think he was born in, in, in Massachusetts, it says, but I guess really relocated to Ohio. Um, committed to go to Syracuse, Jim Beheim right there. Um, you know, pulled his commitment and um, apparently uh, didn't want to go to college no more. Him and his mom was trying to find an alternative route. You know, long story short, Rich Paul... Uh, an agent that works with LeBron is a part of LeBron's company. Uh, LeBron put him on and, uh, he's pretty much mastered, <laughs> um, you know, getting the, these guys the best, the most money and, uh, you know, hashing out business deals. Um, you know, he hashed out a great business deal for Darius and where Darius will get $1 million from new balance for internship. And with, if he hits incentive, all incentive bonuses, he will receive up to $14 million for New Balance, now people probably say, well, New Balance ain't been in basketball and never. But uh, apparently, with Puma getting into uh, the basketball game again, uh, New Balance is looking to get into the sneaker game. And with this internship, um, Darius would be allowed to work out um, in Boston. Um, you know, he got his own cubicle. He's going to learn, you know, how, um, you know, shoe business work, how business works. So basically... He's basically going to trade school, you know, getting the on hands experience instead of sitting in the classroom for a year. And then the second semester pulling out, going to work out for the NBA. Um, he's guaranteed $1 million no matter what. And obviously this will give them, uh, you know, a relationship with Darius to, um, you know, sign him to a shoe deal as well. They gave him $1 million. They were innovative. They believed in him when nobody else did. And the people, you know, wearing Pumas on the court, why not New Balances? Um, so... Jim Beheim, you know, you know, he said something on Twitter today, um, and he was shocked that, um, <laughs> you know, let's just say Team LeBron, Rich Porter, LeBron, and the rest of them got Darius a deal. He lost out on the five star recruit to Syracuse. You know, he big mad, and that's what LeBron responded, said, "Oh, you big mad." And Rich Rich Paul said he later uh, called him and uh, apologized to him, Jim Beheim for you know being critical of what they done with Darius. And his mother, you know, signed off on it. I mean, at the end of the day, if he don't do nothing else, he getting a million dollars, you know. Who could say they made a million dollars going to college? Nobody. Very few people could say they made a million dollars going to college and playing ball. So um, he got paid, didn't have to go overseas, didn't go to the JBA, didn't have to take the NBA uh, elite, um, you know, G League uh, contract worth 125 k He got a million dollars in. Now they busting holes through the system, Okay. Now they running through the system. Now the dude from Adidas got caught for pay to play uh, program today. He got it. Uh, he got, you know, he got charged, not charged, but they found him guilty. And, um, you know, Jim Beheim is super mad. Of course, you lost in a five star recruit, but just shows you how broken the system is, is. And now you got innovative brothers. Let me say that innovative brothers like LeVar Ball that kind of started this. You know, you got to give LeBron, LeVar Ball his credit. With the JBA League, he started this, man. Not saying that he got any top, you know, recruits in there or top guys in there, but he gave a guy another lane. And before that, then it was guys going overseas. They knew people wanted to stay at home in America, how tough it was to make it in China, make it over there in, 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 uh, in uh, like Russia, the Ukraine, the European League with the language barrier and, and guys didn't want to be that so, so far away from home. They never really looked at that as a serious threat to college. And then LeVar started the JBA League, and then the NBA was like, oh, forget that. We coming out with the G League Elite contracts. It's going to pay players 125 k for elite prospect contracts, you know, which will leave for them to make more money off of them, you know, while they in the G League and get G League TV deals and stuff of that nature. And now, you know, you got New Balance doing an internship 
for a young brother, you know, he's going to be working out. He's going to be learning business. He's still going to be educated in school. It's going to be a hands-on process. And, you know, like Rich Paul said on ESPN The Jump, I'll link the, article, I'll link the video into the description from YouTube. He said his brother going to have a jump on anybody when it comes to talking business. You know, so Darius uh, Baisley got to take it serious. He got to learn the ins and outs of the business. And you got a partnership with New Balance forever, you know. New Balance is going to treat you like family, um, you know, and you're going to have a job there forever, to be honest. If the NBA don't work out, you work there already. You got a job in one of the largest cities in America in Boston. Um, you know, it works out and it's innovative. And now that your NCAA system is flawed and now innovative brothers like Rich Paul, like LeVar Ball, is coming up with, with ways to hurt the system and ways to completely break the college system. And I'm glad that they are coming to ways to break the uh, college system. And the NBA can easily break the college system and just allow a one and done, just allow a, a high schoolers to come right into the league. You know what I'm saying? They can easily just, just kill all that, you know? But I think it's deeper than letting uh, high schoolers come into the league. I think for the NBA, for Rich Paul, LeBron, and LeVar Ball, I think it's about exposing that it's a flawed system. Even for guys that's not good enough to make the jump from uh, high school to the NBA, it's about getting them paid and, and not for them exploiting these kids, man. That's what they're doing, exploiting these kids, selling their jerseys with their number on the back, you know, Thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of fans come and see them. You know, they got TV money and the kids ain't seeing nothing. So you expect this guy to go to Syracuse for free 99 and make nothing or go take an internship in New Balance and, and make a million dollars and up to 14 million dollars and form a partnership forever and still learn something to keep your mind sharp. You got you got experience that you won't get in college. Work on a New Balance on your resume at the end of the day. That's that's better than saying, oh. I went to Syracuse for a year, and what did you get out of it? You took a whole bunch of basic classes. You dropped out your second semester to get ready for the draft after the tournament. I mean, he got New Balance on his resume. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got a partnership for life. You know what I'm saying? And you got a million dollars out of it, so they believe in you. So, um, you know, can't be mad at him, man. Salute. You know, that's all you can do is salute young brothers like that. Brothers helping brothers, that's what I'm about. Love that LeBron and Rich Paul helped him out. Love that LeVar Ball blazed the path. And I love that the NBA and LeVar Ball, Rich, Rich Paul, LeBron, uh, all these guys are teaming up to break this system. This system needs to be broken. Kids need to be paid to go to college. And people say, well, they got a $100,000 scholarship. We got a scholarship to a school. And woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Okay. That scholarship is, let's just say, 30 grand a semester, food and board or whatever. That totals up to, what, 120 for four years, even though they probably not going to stay full four years. Let's just say hypothetically. And that's 120 k they got. Fine and dandy, but you know they could be making way more than that for landing college. They could pay them a hundred k easily, fifty k easily. You know they could pay them fifty k for a season, sixty k, a hundred k easily. But they choose not to do that. So now you know other guys gonna come in and be innovative, and you know the ball got rolling when Brandon Jennings went over to uh, Asia, and you know didn't go to Arizona, I think it was, and, and guys started doing that. And then you had LeVar Ball with the JBA League, you know. Then that sparked the idea. Then the NBA said we want you to have these one-and-done prospects in the G League and get a TV deal off of them and pay them 125 k six figures off rent. We're going to get that at, you know, and you at the comfort of your own country. And then, you know, Rich Paul said, you know what, let me add on. Let me put the frosting on the cake. You guys can get internships from these shoe companies and, um, you know, work out. And, and the problem is they asked them on the jump. What about working out during the offseason, him taking a whole year off? He said he'll work out. He said they're going to get orchestrated runs together with the right people, not with just any old body. And he'll get burned, you know, like that. And they say, you know, it's a chance. There was another kid, and I linked a New York Times article in it that was with Western Kentucky. And um, he was supposed to go to Western Kentucky. He set out a year. He dropped down to the 36th selection in the draft, I think, this past year. But at the end of the day, you know, if he dropped to the 36th or the 85th spot, and <laughs> on any 85 spots, I don't think it is. Might be 85 spots or something like that. I think it's 65 or whatever. Um, he still got a million dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got a million. He can make up to 14 million. So, I mean, do you matter? It do, does it really matter? <laughs> if he can ball, he can ball. He a four-star recruit. He do good in workouts. He work out. He get his business mind sharp. He learn how to shoe deal work. He turn pro. He can sign a shoe deal with, with, with New Balance and continue in the summer to do internships in New Balance. Work out in Boston. You got a job during the summer. You go. You can make some bank during the summer. 
working in New Balance, learning how designing shoes, seeing how the shoe process works, seeing how the game works, seeing how they send shoes to, to Foot Locker, how they make their deals with the retail deals and stuff of that nature, how they make their money. I mean, you, it can't get no better than that, man. You know, and then Nike is going to start following suit. Uh, this is just going to be another loophole for kids to jump through, another thing for kids to jump to to hurt the college game. You know what I'm saying? So them college boosters are going to have to step their game up and start paying, you know, 500000 a milli to have kids come to their class school. But, um, hey, man, you know, didn't see this one coming. Um, I think this is very innovative. I linked the video to Rich Paul's interview with The Jump on ESPN. Love that show. Uh, one of the few ESPN shows I actually do love. And uh, I put the article from New York Times to give you a better gist if you like to read and keep your mind sharp as I like to do and um, as well. And uh, Jim Byheim, you know, he looking just like at the crib. He lost a five-star recruit. You can't get mad at the kid for taking a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? You're making meals. At, you're making a meal every year probably more than that at Syracuse. So, you know, it is what it is. It's good fellow Sports TV. Wanted to do this video, man. It's very, very intriguing. Got definitely, definitely got much love for all you brothers out there supporting us and sisters supporting us. And we're going to continue to, you know, you know, keep dropping dope content. Don't forget, we on Facebook. Uh, that's the only platform we tra we trapping off of right now, working off of. Um, that link's in the description. The Facebook page, not the group. Inbox me there um, as well. If you got video requests or questions. Also, if you want to make a donation, that PayPal link is in the description as well. Want to email me? Go ahead. Uh, video requests and information and questions. Y'all know what it is. One time.